And welcome back to part six of What If Naruto Went Back in Time with His Memories. Last time, they, so as I've been using as a like barometer for the uh, timeline, wing on, wing on, wing on, wing on, wing on, wing on, that's how it's kind of been so far. Roshimaru not putting the curse on, on Sasuke, that's a big whoop. But now there's a huge change up with the timeline. Now, at this point now, the timeline is going meh, like this. Because Sakura not only was strong enough to uh, was not only strong enough to beat Eno, she's now in the finals, which completely changed the layup for the final matches in the tuning exam. Which, just to remind everyone, match one is Sasuke versus Tamari. Na match two, Neji versus Dosu. Match three, Naruto versus Sakura. Match four, Gar versus Shino, and match five is Shikamaru versus Konkuro. Now, obviously, Conqueror's still going to opt out, so Shikamaru's going to get an easy win by that. Um, which, again, changes things up. He won't be freaking tired as hell uh, come the actual invasion. Also, though, Orochimaru is still recovering. And we know that Sarutobi III and a lot of the individuals in the village know the invasion is going to come. Uh, including knowing that the Kazakage it, did get killed. Now, I do. someone did ask. Two things, actually, a couple things to kind of catch up on real quick. Someone did ask um, if the Kazakagi would still be killed by Orochimaru or not. I think the Kazakagi was killed kind of long before that. Uh, they don't. They never really give us a time frame on that, but I think he was killed before that month. So yes, I think he will be killed. Uh, still, even if he's even if it's not Orochimaru, we can could still probably kill the uh, the fourth uh, Raikage because Raikage Kazakage Rai or Raiga wasn't that uh, that strong. Someone also has on multiple occasions said that they think Naruto would be focused on getting stronger so he wouldn't lose Kurama. Who said he's not focusing on getting stronger? Um, first off, he's got to really win Kurama over here. Kurama and him still aren't on the best buddy terms right now, but things are progressing slowly, but surely they're progressing. So yeah, who said he wouldn't be more focused on getting stronger? Like, of course he's getting stronger. He's already pretty much has wind jutsu down. He's focusing now on fire jutsu. Uh, which he's going to be focusing on a bit more jutsu come the uh, month. But last but not least, someone said they thought I kind of got Sasuke very wrong. That I that the Kurt that the Tsukiyomi was the callus for his hate for Itachi, not the curse mark. I think that's what they said. Let me actually um, I'm actually going to find that comment because I felt that comment was. Um, uh, oh, and another person said, I don't can't remember if it was the exact same person or not, a lot of things said recently, uh, uh, but said that Naruto, wouldn't Naruto be, hoping, and, and welcome back, up. sorry, I had to get the video up, uh, what was it exactly, uh, I think you said there was a, the person said there was a huge mess up in Sasuke's character, Sasuke hatred should have, uh, have started by now, yes, Itachi Tsukiyomi was ca the callous, but Naruto's rapid progress was the main source of hatred that led to Dead Last being equal to him. And here's Sasuke. See, see, right there, I think that's a misunderstanding of Sasuke's character. That was not the uh, that that did not make him hate. So, uh, make, so Sukiyama was the cows. We agreed on that. Naruto's rapid progress uh, was his main source of hatred. No, that was not his main source of hatred. That didn't help. But you're, fa you're factoring in Naruto's progression. While he had the curse mark influencing him, meaning he was already susceptible to a lot more corruption there. But no, his main source of hatred was Itachi. And yes, he was the best for a while, and Naruto's progression may have hurt. But the fact is, he had the curse mark on him. That was already influencing him well beyond there. Um, so, yeah... Uh, and then, uh, oh, and now I remember, someone else kind of said that um, that they personally don't think Naruto would necessarily try to stop the war, as the Hokage is being reanimated because it was, uh, or the Hokage is being reanimated because it was uh, the war that enabled the five, uh, the enabled the peace of the five great nations. That is true. But, and I, and we're almost at the five minute mark, but those are questions that need to be addressed. Um so, no, I'm not getting... I don't think I'm getting Sasuke's character wrong. I'm taking a al different alternative. Sasuke still, Sasuke still harbors his hatred of Itachi. Definitely. But now he... But this is Sasuke without the curse mark. And the fact is that he's been able... Be, 
Naruto progressed really quick, which definitely I brought up stems a lot more resentment. But because of him being able to get the, uh, to talk to Kakashi and get them to train them more seriously, this has enabled Sasuke to improve himself to a large degree, too, past the point he was in the original series. Add on to the fact that Naruto, even though he showed off his immense power, explains where a lot of that power com came from, that he's been, uh, has the fox chakra on him. This, I think, allows Sasuke to understand him a bit more. That Naruto has, you know, actually suffered. And this, I think, has got, given them a bit stronger friendship at this point in time. Add on to the fact you don't have the curse mark influencing him. Yeah. The, the war. I did, I have brought up previously, and I was actually been going to address in this a bit more, a more in depth, about that. Remember, Naruto is only one person and can only juggle so many plot points. He's really kind of focusing on both the long term, but at the a thing uh, at present. Uh, and Naruto also also has to, you know, make those considerations of, do I let a war happen because it brought peace? Or is there another way to bring peace? So, anyway, now there were six freaking minutes in after I had to deal with all that. <laughs> deal with all that. I, 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 it was important to address it. We cut over to the end of the uh, preliminary matches. Naruto a, and Naruto meets up with Sasuke and Sakura. Both meet up with Kakashi. He's like, "Ah, there you guys are." Uh, it's like, "So, uh, so you both, all three, of you made. It. I'm impressed. Most people don't make it the first time around." Again, Kakashi, based on what Naruto said, is is not surprised, but also impressed that Sakura was able to make it. I was like, "Oh yeah, we did, we did great." Uh, so yeah, are you gonna train me? <laughs> It's like, what about me? And uh, Kakashi Sensei, yeah, what about me? And which Naruto's just playing her along. It's like, it's okay, it's okay. I found, I've uh, worked out something for each of you. Uh, Sasuke, I'm going to be focusing on you, uh, focusing on you this time around, uh, for this next month of training. You've already gotten lightning jutsu down, which is great. And I have a technique that's right up your alley. We're going to have to train with it a bit more. Plus, maybe give you a, uh, train you in a couple other lightning based jutsus, just to be fair. I was like, all right, cool. And he's like, great. Sakura, I've also found a great teacher for you too. Actually, one's been able to one's been able to um, uh, spare some time from their missions, and uh, Kur, uh, you'll be training under Kurenai and Haku. It's like what Kurenai and Haku? That's right. Kur, you've had a knack for Genjutsu since the academy, but it's never been properly utilized. Kurenai is the best Genjutsu user in the village, so it'll be it will be more than uh, uh, more than beneficial for your training. Oh, well, then why Haku? Haku, uh, we, uh, you sh uh, while Genjus is important, it's also important to be working on your physicality, too. So Haku is going to be helping you with that. Uh, and Naruto, I believe you already know where your, se uh, where your sensei for the month is going to be. Yeah, I do. As a guy, I know where to find him. It's like, all right, then. Well, I'll see you guys in a month. And good luck. And again, congratulations. And so Sasuke and Kakashi head off. Kakashi does keep a look at Naruto. As he notices a look on his face, it's a very... Interesting look. He's not worried per se, but he's also not completely calm. And he's even thinking, what are you thinking right now, Naruto? Naruto, meanwhile, is going to find you no know, exact he knows exactly where Jiraiya is. So he's like he's walking and he is a bit melancholy. Not melancholy, but he is pondering things. This is due to the fact that Naruto, again, not a genius, but is not stupid, is now very aware. We're starting to get into uncharted territory here. I got to be careful on how the timeline works because Sakura didn't make it the first time around. I was hoping she could get stronger, but uh, stronger. But now that she's, I don't know how that can affect the timeline. The Fox Six chimes in. It's the death. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you get for messing with the timeline, Brad. Hey, look, I didn't mess with anything. Okay, it was fucking Kawaki who did who did that shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tell me about this kid. He kind of talks about him and the Otsuskis and everything, and Kurama actually growls like the, the, those blasted parasitic rabbits. Um, well, Kage was the rabbit. The others are less rabbit. I don't really know how you would... They're aliens, um, but they're. it's really hard to describe what they are. Kage is kind of like the moon rabbit because she does have the ears. The others don't. Or at least most of them don't. What was it? Um, not Ishi... No, it was Jigen? No. Ishiki? Who had like the weird curved horn uh anyway i digress so yeah and naruto is now kind of mm, and then there's then there's the the invasion coming in about a month uh i mean i i clearly uh i was able to give orochimaru a good injury but he's not dead and it might be important not to kill him either because of the importance he played in the war but and then he's just 
starting to think, but he's like, all right, enough of that. I gotta, I gotta go re-meet a pervy sage. And he sees him. And so Naruto decides to, <laughs> decides to pass upon him. He basically get, basically does a, put, drop your pants and just, and then just, mm, kill pop. <laughs> it's like, huh? hey, what are you doing, you old pervert? Ah! He's like, ah, no for fear, ladies, the manly Jiraiya is here. And he, he's like, he realizes he's not getting out of that with his pants down. Um, so he gets the, the crack he does. He's like, and Jiraiya, who does know who Naruto, but should know. He does know who Naruto is. Maybe he didn't recognize him immediately at first, but he knows who Naruto is. Um, he's like, what What the hell was that for, Brett? <laughs> Come on, you were spying on women. Research or not, there's no way to, there's no way to act, you dirty old pervert. Uh, and Naruto, while having a good chuckle, also is getting a little melancholy. He Because he lo- J- uh, Jiraiya was the closest thing to a dad figure he had. Rook is more like a big brother. Jiraiya was the closest to a dad, or at least a grandfather, a paternal figure. So he definitely kind of gets a little missy eyed. Like, well, you should know better. Like, what? You, you know, what? It's not that on here. What are you crying? Or something? Like, and and Naruto actually kind of has to wipe it with tears. So, and Karam actually is like, oh, that's sweet. Uh, shut up. It's like, it's like, yeah, just, no, it's just yeah, good to see you, Jiraiya. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry. Have we met? Come on. You know exactly who I am. My name's Naruto Zamaki, Godfather. And, and, and this is where Jiraiya goes, oh. So you, oh, you're Nar- Naruto, my, wow, you've, you've grown, uh, and, uh, wow, uh, and he now realizes that he's the godfather, he knows he's the godfather, or Naruto knows he's his godfather, and he's like, uh, look, about, look, save it, I get it, uh, but, um, but we really should talk, it's like, look, I, look, I need, I need a trainer for the tuning exam, do you think you help me out, and it's like, well, I look, I'd love to catch up, but I am only here temporarily. I know to see the third report on Orochimaru. He was already in the village. Uh, right. All right, then. And could, well, if you're going to go, could you at least give me a, do two things? Hand me a, hand over the key to uh, to the fox's uh, seal and give me this uh, and uh, uh, give me a contract with the toads real quick. <laughs> and, and now Jirai is like, what? How? The toad contract, maybe, no, I am the toad, but. How do you know about the key? And Naruto is kind of uh, kind of grinning until his grin drops more into like a somber smile. It's like we should go to the third and talk. Obviously, Jirai is now the third man in the loop. You have Kakashi, you have the third, and you have Jiraiya. It would make sense he want Jiraiya in on a loop because uh, Jiraiya is probably the most experienced ninja in the village at this point, save Donzo and Sartobi, and even then, Donzo you don't want any of Donzo knowing any of that shit, um, and so, they meet up with the third, and again, some sake's poured out, they have drinks, so, uh, so, the, the, uh, you, uh, so the war will eventually came, but, and, but peace eventually came, or, so you, uh, so peace really was achieved, just wasn't in my time, um, you uh, <laughs> and he just looks at him, and he can now looking in Naruto's eyes, he can see those are the eyes of a guy who's seen combat, who has seen shit and has lost loved ones. And dry, he can see that he was one of those guys, Nar- loved ones that Naruto lost. <laughs> so well, uh, you're, it's uh, pretty bold, uh, ballsy telling me this. You know, he could already affected the timeline in a monumentous ways. To which Naruto kind of Naruto kind of looks, hey, look. It takes him a small sip. Um, dry, because as far as I know, Naruto actually couldn't hold his liquor, as far as I know. Uh, so he takes a very small, he's only having like one. Um, it's like, oh, that, that ship sailed. Sakura was, didn't make it to the exams in the original one, and Sasuke got the damn curse mark put on him in the in the, in the original timeline. So right now, everything's everything's shot for shit. Uh, plus, uh, Zabazan Haku didn't make it. Oh, yeah. I, I remembered hearing that the Demon of Mist was uh, now a part of the village. I said, that was your doing. Yep. Uh, so, <laughs> and so, well, if that's the case, then training you is probably, is probably the, uh, to, on the to-do list for this month, uh, for the month. Uh, meet me in the, meet me in the training grounds tomorrow. We'll go over everything. And so, they wait. They, they, or they sleep on it. He meets him in the training grounds. So what exactly are, are you? I need to know exactly what you're capable of, Naruto. At this point, Naruto, uh, what you, what did you carry over? It's like, Naruto grins, shows off the basic windjutsu. All right, shows off tornado fist. Cool. Showing off, he can do the fireball jutsu now. Yeah, fire's the one I'm. He says fire's the one I'm working on right now. 
Uh, his shock control is damn near perfect because he's using the clones so many damn times. Uh, using the clones. But then he shows off the sage mode. It's like, holy crap, you you learned sage mode. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, well, that's not also. And he shows off the Rasengan. Then shows off the Windstar Rasengan. And then the Ross and Shuriken Rasengan. Just, I'd throw it, but it might level the landscape a little bit. And <laughs> like, <laughs> and then, uh, and, but wait, and then he just kind of goes, but wait, there's more. And he shows off, he can do the one tail fox cloak right now. Dryden's now just jaw gaped on the ground. Just, uh, unbelievable. You could probably, yeah, and you real, and no wonder you're able to get Rochu a run for his money. And on your, de add a, uh, add a uh, decade's worth of combat experience and uh, uh, decade's worth of combat experience. Uh, and you really are, you really are a frightening being. Uh, but, there's still more to, there is still more to learn. You already know how to access the Fox Chakra, and you said you need the key. And Jiraiya contemplates this for a minute. He's like, look, the Fox and I aren't on, on, are on decent terms, to be honest, right now. We, we still got a ways to go to get back to the relationship we had uh, when I, when I undid the seal, but I trust him. And Jiraiya's just like, hmm, I'll tell you what, uh, because, because, uh, your, uh, your body's still young, uh, we'll wait till that, we'll wait till after the three years that we take. Because, again, he was told about a lot of things, uh, the Akatsuki, all that. He's also told about his students and how to deal with pain. So he knows how to deal with pain now. Um, so, again, there's, and there, I mean, Naruto will probably be going over these things again and again as they get closer to certain events. But just right now, it's more for your sake than anything else. And the fox growls, but Naruto's like, look, it was a long shot for they can give it to us right away. But... I believe that I trust your eyes word until then I'll work to, I'll work to trying to make everything as comfortable as possible. It's like, ruff, ruff. And then your fox is like, whatever. Yeah. He's a little grumpy about it, but yeah, grumpy. Yeah. Meanwhile, the dry does say, all right, then let's do the next thing. Yes. It brings up the tow contract. Naruto signs it. All right. Summon, uh, br uh, bring someone out. <laughs> Naruto kind of grins. Wait, what are you? No, you're not going <clears> to. <throat> oh, uh, Jiraiya. What are we do what am I doing here? Uh, uh, hi, G. Hey, Bunta. Yeah, it's a dirt. It's a low blow, kid. Huh? Was what is this? You're the one who brought me here, but don't make me laugh. Oh, how about I and he just kind of pops in on and says, Oh, how about I make you laugh to something else? And he does in the sage run. Believe me now. How Jiraiya, how does this brat knows the say the toad sage art? Uh Bunta, you might want to sit down. I'm already sitting. And so, Bunta gets the explanation. At least the basic, because there's nothing Bunta knowing this would affect any. There's not, there is nothing that Bunta knowing the future would affect the timeline. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, then. Uh, well, then. It doesn't really matter, does it? As he sees the scroll, you seem to be the summoner no matter what. And if you've learned the sage mode, a sage arts from us, you're clearly a worthy summoner. All right, Brett, I accept you. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's great. It's good to see you again, Chief Dud. This is an odd conversation to be having. Yeah, but you seem like a... You don't seem completely like an imbecile. And so, he disappears. And now it's just, what do we do for the next month? Naruto's already got the Rasen Shuriken. He's got the Rasengan. Now, in when Naruto learns other variations of the Rasen, uh, the Rasen Shuriken, the elemental Rasengan, I usually change the form of it. Like, the Rasen Inferno is the fire form, which is like a sun that implodes. Uh, the water one could be like a tro like a whirlpool that just attacks. Earth one, I've kind of struggled with concepts of that one, but and the lightning one I haven't really done yet. The thing is, though, in Naruto itself, these are just Rasen Shurikens with different elements put into them. I don't know, which actually really, um, when you actually think of it, means it's not an elemental, like the magma release elemental or shuriken isn't a magma style Rasengan. It's a wind Ross shuriken with magma release put at the center of it. Think about the level of chakra control that is, and chakra's shape manifestation. So that, no, actually what I do is actually pretty down, like pretty, um... Um, it's actually pretty, uh, on the nose that if you were to actually make the evolved version of Elemental Rasengans, they wouldn't be Rasen Shurikens. And we actually see that with the Magna release Rasengan, that he does on Shikaku. 
Um, crazy, he does want, but again, that's because that's the nature of the Ross and Shurgan that we see those rolling blades. So anytime you see those, it's actually him with the center core of another chakra inside a wind style Ross and Shurgan. The level of chakra control, shape transformation, and, um, or nature transformation, and shape transformation. That is insane and nuts. And it's no wonder Naruto is probably the strongest character in the series up until he lost Karama. So, um, yeah, so Naruto now basically says, you know what, uh, we should probably, we should probably get, me, uh, get me down with training on the elements again. And he starts basically getting an army of clones ready to train on each element. Because even though he gained those elements initially, um, or uh, like or once he got the sage mode, or uh, yeah, uh, his six path mode, he got access to the chakras. He doesn't actually have that right now. If you can train in those chakra modes, even without the infinity or chakra modes, those uh, elements, but you just, the infinity makes it easier. So Naruto's now training in those um, chakra elements. And so we don't know what the process for training in all of them are. I, uh, someone actually made a good point of like the snapping the sni uh, snapping the stick or uh, no, it was, oh, it was the um, the avatar method for Naruto last airbender. We we'll keep the leaf from burning and then keep the flame going like that's a cool, cool idea for fire release training he naruto has three out so basically three groups of clones training in earth and water and lightning meanwhile he's also working on like the big ball rasengan because he hasn't actually worked on that one in a while so he's working on that he also basically t uh, tells dry you know you know you should probably get working on some stuff too it's like what i mean look you're you're probably one of the strongest ninja ever but that's the only reason to get sloppy your sage mode's not perfect uh, they, they even, told even, oh, they told you that, huh? Well, I mean, and there's, when you really break it down, the reason, Jirai, I think the reason Jirai's sage mode isn't perfect is because he couldn't properly balance those out, but that's not to say he couldn't with training. So Jiraiya thinks on it and goes, you know what, Brat? You know what, kid? It's a good point. Why don't we actually take a different, uh, different, uh, go to a different spot? And they go to Mount Miyabuku to continue training for the remainder of the month. And so Naruto gets the basics of each jutsu, uh, of each element down, especially because they're not his affinity. He doesn't actually have that affinity for them at the moment. So he gains an extra fire jutsu. Let's just say the Phoenix Flower jutsu. He's got the false lightning. He's got the mud wall. He's got the, I think it's raging torrent. So he's got all the basic jutsus. And he's capable of using them now in combat. Naruto sa says he'll focus on maybe incorporating them that we're saying on a different point in time. Meanwhile, Jiraiya actually is training himself with the um, Sage Chakra. And eventually by the end of the month, it's just a month, he's already got it down. I think Jiraiya does have a perfect Sage mode. Plus, Naruto uh, mentions, like, hey, uh, you know, perfect Sage, why don't you actually try uh, doing the element that we're saying on? Uh, and he expl Naruto explains how he does it. And uh, Kakashi does mention that the way Naruto obtained it really could only be used by him. But... And I just want a Naruto Ross Wind Rasengan. Uh, wind Rasengan. Give me one second here. Because I just want to know why. I, I not, need to double check why Kakashi assumed that. Uh, let's see here. At the same time, he eventually was able to overcome his obstacle while using Shadow Clones to provide his chakra and shape. The end product became the Wind Rasengan. Users uh, who have mastered it. We'll only need one clone to provide the wind chakra and addition experience. It just conform without any chakra, obviously. Uh, TLB influence. I can't find the quote Kakashi said of why this would only work for him because it clearly doesn't because this is how Boruto Boruto did this. Um, so it's a matter of chakra. I believe it's. I think it ultimately comes down to. The Shiano clone jutsu and the large amount of chakra to be able to use this technique. But we know Jiraiya has an insane amount of chakra, so this... And he can use the shadow clone. He can't spam it like Naruto can, but you don't need to spam it to use the uh, technique anyway. So, theoretically, Jiraiya at least should be able to do it. Uh, so Jiraiya may say, oh, maybe another time. Maybe uh, after maybe after all of the, <laughs> the invasion when we have to go find the Tsunade, hopefully. And... We'll see how it happens there. I'm not 100% sure of that. So they basically should come back about a day after, or a couple days prior to the exam. And Naruto, honestly, Naruto's kind of at the training ground where he was originally. And he's kind of just sitting on, the, there's like the moon's out, it's night. He's sitting, he's just looking at the water. And the Karama actually talks like, what's on your mind, Brett? 
and say, I, you know, I just don't know every, every decision that's happening right now. I'm trying to do the best for the future, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen because I wanted to try to improve the future so we could avoid some things. But now at the same time, I have to, I'm second guessing that, uh, that thought because what happens if I do something wrong, if I change something that need, that didn't need to be changed, if Hiroshi Maro is killed tomorrow, does that completely stop him from being able to, uh, to aid the war? And then Narjo, what the question that was brought up in the comments, uh, what, I mean, do I even stop the war to begin with? It helped bring everyone into peace. I mean, is there another way to bring the peace without the war? And he realizes in that moment, he sounds a little bit like Nagato because that was kind of Nagato's philosophy where he was going to create a weapon so dangerous that war became a impossible idea because they'd be wiped out. It was, it was peace through fear and it's not a hundred percent, but it's very similar. It's like, it's like, Oh my God. And Kurama surprisingly kind of just uh, breathes in, just kind of goes aside. It's like, uh, peace is only fleeting. Peace is only a feeding dream, bleeding dream, Bat. I have lived longer than you could possibly imagine. I've seen more than more than my fair share of war, but also the more more of my fair share, uh, more than my fair share of peace during that time too. As brief as it was, uh, peace, peace, cotton, war, and peace are like uh, are yin and yang. You will never have one without the other. Eventually, one will come, and then the other uh, followed by the other, and it's a cycle. And it's just like the just like the cycle of hatred, it is a cycle in itself. And we see that. Honestly, we see that in Boruto. There was a huge era of peace between the end of Naruto Shippuden and Boruto. And then violence happened again. Uh, so it, 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 and the only thing we do is find, do the best we can to achieve that peace through any means. If it means letting a war happen, then do it. But if you think you can truly find a way to stop it without the war happening or to, uh, to bring peace that you brought, that you brought previously, then go for it. And Narcha is like, just kind of smiles like, thanks. You know, this is kind of like the nicest conversation we've had recently. And Kurama just said, shut up. Uh, what can I say? And, and he kind of grumbles a bit like, what can I say? You do kind of rub off on people a little bit. And, like, ha. and he kind of smiles. And then he meet, then he sees Hinata there. And Hinata's like, oh, I'm sorry. You want to, no, it's, it's fine. I'm, it's fine. You're worried about fighting Edgy uh, or worrying about fighting your team, right? And say, like, yeah, uh, just a little bit. And I promise I get paid back for what Neji did to you in the exam. Uh, like, oh, that's that's very nice of you, but I'm really, I'm fine. And Naruto can see Naruto can see that. It's like, yeah, you look you look good. It's like I look good. It's like, oh, you look healthy. I mean, <laughs> and you know, you were always a proud failure, but now lately you've it, it, lately you've grown so much stronger, and it just inspires me to keep getting stronger. And I will. It's like. And Naruto kind of goes in because <laughs> he remembers how she was. He's, he's still, look, again, she's 13. He's, he's a 33-year-old and a 13-year-old body. But that doesn't mean he still doesn't want to be near his with the woman he loves. It's just he's got to be careful. So he just gives her a very warm and uh, says, like, I know you will, you know, you're going to get so strong. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be amazing. And I believe I have all the faith in you. And <laughs> just... He said, believe it. And she's doing everything she can not to pass out. But because he's been a lot more, they've been a bit more friendlier and had a bit more interactions. She's able to barely hold on. He hugged me, he hugged me, he hugged me, he hugged me. He was so warm. <laughs> and so she kind of, this is almost done. She, her brain melts like, uh, Hinata, I'll, I'll walk you home. How about that? He's walking me home. Uh, he just, she passed out. I got her. And she eventually wakes up before they get to the compound. Uh, and before her dad, I uh, see him is like, yeah, yeah, her dad still scares the piss out of me. <laughs> so ultimately comes the day of the exams and we're going to end it with everyone's there. And I mean, everyone, Sasuke is there too, because Sasuke is, uh, because Kakashi is told like, yeah, you guys nearly got um, disqualified in the original one. So don't be late. <laughs> and so he's actually there on time. Kaze Kage is there. Sarutobi is very much aware, but uh, this is Orochimaru, but uh, Sarutobi, uh, by the by, has also been working out, so he's nowhere near as uh, in bad a shape as he used to be. Uh, and don't get me wrong, he still wasn't in terrible shape when he fought against them, but he was, as they said, he doesn't have the master uh, they, in the um, in the fight, the Ombu said, he didn't have the master reserves of Chakra he did in his youth, 
it's true, he's become old. But even as old man Saratobi he fought an equal footing with a suppressed Hashirama and Toby Rama and Rotri Moro and still managed to take half of his half of his arms away. So yeah. Uh with Saratobi working out and getting a bit back in shape, it might have been a little better, but we'll wait for that. Rochimaru maybe has only just fully, barely fully recovered, so he's maybe still a little off. Until then, though, we have the exams. Now, one last thing. Is Dosu dead in this? No, I don't think Dosu's dead, because, I mean, because the only reason he was going to go after Gara, in A, he was fighting Sasuke, but B, the reason he was going after Gara is because Gara was on his own all the time, uh, and he just, just staring at the moon, all that, but... Yeah, here I don't think you'd really have a chance to go after Tamari. Plus, there's just no logic in it here. It's there's even there, there's an even number of matches, so it just doesn't make sense. Anyway, so that's where we leave part six. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll be back on next Wednesday with part seven. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I'll be honest. I don't know how long this part's gonna go. I remember going into part twenties with some of my what ifs. Um, this, based on where we are right now, we just go on part six. This one's definitely, I mean, no doubt it's going into the double digits. This one could hit 20. Um, this one very well could hit 20. But we'll see where we are at that point. Because now, it's not like, okay, we go to here, we go to here, we go to here. Now it's like, okay, does me doing this completely negate this event happening? We will see. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.